Let me start by telling you this. I have never used steroids, period. For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance enhancing substance? No. Have you ever been tempted to use any of those things? No. In addition to Andro, which was legal at the time that you used it, what other supplements did you use? I'm not here to talk about the past. Well, baseball's home run king indicted on charges he lied about using steroids. Federal grand jury in San Francisco charging Barry Bonds with four counts of perjury and one count of obstruction of justice. Bonds is accused of lying when he said he didn't knowingly take steroids given to him by his personal trainer, Greg Anderson. Convicted on all five counts, Bonds could go to prison for up to 30 years. Which you admitted that you used human growth hormones. Is this true? It is not. So you did not tell Mr. Pettit that you used human growth hormones? I did not. Uh, I was young, I was stupid, um, I was naive, and, and I wanted to prove to everyone that, you know, I was worth, um, you know, and being one of the greatest players uh, of, of, of all time. And uh, I, did, I did take a banned substance, and, um, you know, for that, uh, I'm very sorry. Mark McGuire has finally come clean, admitting he used steroids when he broke baseball's home run record in 1998. I was not going to lie. I wanted to tell the truth, but because of the position I was in, to protect my family, to protect me, I decided that I would take the hits. And I apologize to everybody in Major League Baseball. McGuire is the second major baseball star in less than a year to admit using illegal steroids following the New York Yankees' Alex Rodriguez last February. Others have been tainted but have denied knowingly using illegal drugs, including Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, Sammy Sosa, and David Ortiz. No, probably not just because I'd feel so bad afterwards because if I actually like took them and then like did well, I'd always be like thought in the back of my head like, well, I pretty much cheated to do this. So you, like you'd have goals as like a younger player and you'd look back and be like, well, I didn't actually achieve my goals because I didn't do it the way I wanted. I think if somebody asked me if I was ever tempted to use steroids, I mean, I would have to say yes. I mean, steroids... People take steroids because they work, and it's just that simple, you know? Um, say somebody, for my example, you know, trying to gain weight, trying to develop, trying to add um, miles per hour to a fastball, steroids are the easy way out, the easy solution. And so it would be really easy for me just to take a couple cycles of HGH or whatever it is and bulk up and, you know, maybe maybe I would see my goals and, you know, miles per hour and just being bigger. I mean, everybody wants to be bigger, no matter what the sport is. So, I mean, absolutely, the temptation's real and, um, you know, it's out there. The one thing that would keep me from taking steroids is just the fact that later in life you have to look back on it and say, well, you know, am I an asterisk in the stat book or am I a, am I a Barry Bonds, you know? Um, so absolutely, the temptation's there. It's just that um, I really haven't uh, been able to get past the fact that, you know, once you take steroids, that's it, you know? You, uh, you kind of become that person who, you know, you can't take it back once you do it. So I guess that's kind of what kept me from doing it. I th like, hearing about, like, major league players, like, using steroids, like, it definitely affects players that like play the game now, especially like younger players. The fact that a lot of major leaguers do it does influence, I think, a lot of young kids. Um, you know, kids see other guys doing it, and you know, people are always looking for that acceptance. I mean, they see other people doing it, so that makes it okay. And I mean, that's not just steroids; that's a lot of things.
I think that the 50 game suspension they have for the first, like for the first time you use steroids is good. But I think if a player gets caught for like a second time, I think they should just probably be kicked out of the major leagues because they obviously don't get like point that is bad and it's like bad for the game. And so they're not learning like from their mistakes and they're probably just going to keep doing it. So kick them out if they do it twice. And it's kind of good how like Major League Baseball like deals with it the right way and like takes it like seriously instead of just kind of like nodding it off like it's no big. I know if I were in the major leagues and somebody like Barry Bonds or Mark McGuire hit a home run off me if I was pitching, you know, I, w I wouldn't be happy with that. I would, I would probably, I would definitely want a more severe punishment um, than, I mean, 50 days because a home run is a big deal. There's that like competition of, well, if this guy's doing it, then the only way I'm gonna get to play and move forward is to take steroids. So it's kind of like a problem, because if you don't get like all the way out of baseball, it'll always kind of be in there. And I had that pressure of performing at that high level, you know, once you get into the major leagues, baseball's a job, you know. There's a lot of money involved, a lot of press, a lot of pressure. Um, so, I mean, I would see how, I, would, I think it's easy to see how some guy would be like, hey, if I take this, maybe it's gonna help me hit the ball a little harder, hit the ball a little further. So, um, hey man, just give me the syringe and whatever it is, and problem solved. So, I, mean, I think that's kind of where it stands right now.